Hi guys, it's Sam. So today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me again. I've been really having a fun time doing these because then I'm already doing my makeup anyway and it's like killing two birds with one stone because I just have like a really busy week. So I figured this is great because then I can get my work done while I'm doing my makeup and then I have like time to do other stuff too. So hopefully you guys are liking them. You guys have asked for more get ready with me. So here you go. So today we are testing out a new foundation. This is the Makeup Forever HD Palette all-in-one face palette. So it looks like this. There are two shades. I think I have the lighter shade. And this is a blush, contour, concealer, and correct, and foundation, all-in-one. So this is, I think, around $85, if I remember correctly. This is what it looks like, though. So you have, like, all of your concealers and your correctors on this side, and then you've got your kind of foundation colors, your contours, your highlight, and your blush. So I ended up mixing these two colors together to get my color because what the one was a little bit too light for me. But I used as much as I possibly could. I used the concealer, the foundation, the contour, the highlight, and the cream blush from this palette. And I show you how I got this look using it. So um, I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys. You guys can all check it out and see if you wanna shop anything. I tried out a couple of the new ColourPop blushes as well. Just a forewarning, I'm not feeling my 100% best today. I have the worst headache ever, so I might sound a bit moany or complainy in this video. I don't know how it's gonna come across. I have to watch it back. I'm struggling, my, my head is pounding, and obviously I have these lights shining in my eye, and it is not ideal. Um, my, my head is actually going to explode. Like, it's literally, I, it's almost like I could, I can, show you what the headache looks like like i can actually draw it it's like starting right here and it's ending right here and it's like a like a cloud shape right behind my eyes right here in the front and it's just it's exploding like i feel like i have a heartbeat like my heart my my head is like pounding in my ear um so i'm not feeling my best today but i really wanted to get this done because I wanted to try this out for you guys and I'm doing a wear test on my TikTok. So I apologize if my energy is a little down. I'm just not feeling great today. I just want to go to sleep, <laughs> but I have so much to do, so I can't. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Again, everything's going to be linked. I will be doing a TikTok wear test on TikTok. So go follow me over there. It's at Sam Sherman and you guys can see how this foundation ends up wearing. Oh my God, when I talk, it's like vibrating my brain. What is happening right now? This headache is so bad. I don't normally take anything, but I think I might just take like ibuprofen or something because um, it's like, I can't even function right now. Do you guys know what I mean when you get a headache that bad? Like I can hear my heart beating in my ears. It's just so horrible. So that's my day today. Um, anyway, what else am I going to say to you? Do I have anything to say? I don't think so. I'm just going to hurry up and film this TikTok and then hope that I feel better because I literally feel like dog crap right now. I'm just really struggling. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you guys like this video and you find it helpful. And then go follow TikTok so you guys can see how this wears throughout the day. Okay, guys. So today I'm testing out a new foundation. The first I'm going to do is prime with my favorite primer. This is the L'Oreal 24-Hour Matte Setter. I've just really been loving this primer. It is so good. When I do wear tests, I always like to, you know, try to stick to a primer that I know works with my favorite foundations. That way I know that I'm getting like a true test and I'm going to be doing a wear test. This looks so much worse than it is guys. It's not that big. It just is so red for some reason. There's like a scab there now which is just lovely. But Henry's just hanging around. Okay we're going to be testing out the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette and this is like a two-in-one so it's kind of cool. You open it up. A little pricey but you get a lot of product in here. I think I'm probably this color. Ooh, creamy. Oh, that's really light. Yeah, I think this color is probably my color. It is feeling quite creamy. I'm just gonna start blending that out. I think this is like really light. 
Maybe I need to do a little mixer ruining. Then I'm gonna take just a scrape of this. Oh God, I'm so sorry, palette. I feel so bad for you. So I'm gonna mix it with just a little bit of this. Oh, oh my God, I'm making such a mess. This palette was so beautiful, but not so much anymore. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that one and then I'm just gonna kind of mix the oaking. Okay, that was a little darker than I expected. They're very creamy. They mixed really nicely. Now I've just made it way too dark. I feel like that's kind of good. I'll put some of that on instead. Let's try and blend out this side and see if that color is better. Oh yeah, that color is way better. I was just looking a little pale on the other side. But they're very creamy and they mix really easily, which is nice. So it is definitely a customizable palette. I think it runs around 80 something dollars. Um, if I remember correctly, I think it was like 85, something like that. I feel like you do have to use kind of a lot of product to get like the coverage that I'm used to. Like I could see me going through this really, really fast. Probably supposed to do it where you're like doing the contour down and then you're doing the concealer like all the fancy people do, but I just don't like doing that. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, you know, I like what I like. I like my, my little routine of what I do. Also that essence foundation that I used yesterday I woke up with like some breakouts this morning. That is like the perfect color. So I like the fact that it is customizable. It's a good coverage. It's covered everything I need to cover. But like I said, I did have to use kind of a lot of product. So I'm slightly, slightly nervous that I will have collection. I feel like this one kind of looks like the concealer color that I would normally go for. So we're just gonna Paint that on. I feel like it feels really oily. Like it definitely feels a little oily on the skin. Um, which I'm slightly nervous about. I feel like this might be better for people who are less oily. I don't know, we'll just have to see. I'll do a wear test on my TikTok. So if you guys wanna go and follow me over there, and uh, check out that one. I'll probably already have it up by the time this video goes up. So I will just link the TikTok wear test in the video. So I'm just gonna take that color that I mix in with my foundation. I'm just gonna put, oh, I never cream contour. Nervous. Oh, there's like a little hair here. Well, I never cream contour, so I'm kind of scared. Take this makeup by Ariel or Ariel brush, and I'm gonna just blend this out. I just, I honestly, I can't see the point of cream contour when you're going back in and putting bronzer over the top. I just feel like it's an extra step and I I cannot be bothered. So that's why I don't. Also, I don't try to like add, I just need to like mix in here. I don't try to like add more cream products to my face just cause I'm so oily. So for me, it's like an unnecessary step that's just gonna make me oilier. So that's usually why I don't. However, I do think it looks gorgeous on people. I just feel like I can create the same look with a powder. So I just like, I, don't, I just can't be bothered, you know? Cause like, I'm just gonna go ahead and powder and then put bronzer back on top. So then I'm like, what, I literally am doing two steps for, and it's gonna look the same. I know there's a lot of people that like really love it. I'll say they are blending out quite nicely. And then I'm just gonna go back in. I don't know, it just feels really heavy on the skin. Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I will, I don't know. These are both so pretty, so I think I'm just gonna mix into both of them. They're both like so gorgeous. Oh, but I'm, I'm so used to doing my powder. I'm feeling so confused right now. I'm feeling stressed out. And I feel like that's the beauty of makeup is like, 
you find a technique, you find a routine and like the steps that work for you. And just because your routine is different from someone else's does not mean it doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like it's like I have my own step by step thing that I do and that's what works for me and my skin type and the way that I like my makeup. And um, I'm feeling like it's just not what I'm used to. I need to have all of these hairs up and out of my face. So my face feels so oily right now. I can't handle it. It feels like literally every single thing, every single fluff, every single hair, every single cat hair in my life is just gonna gravitate like a magnet to my greasy face. But maybe it'll be okay like once I set it with powder. I just feel like I can feel it on my skin and I don't like that feeling. And also, like because I did use quite a lot to get the coverage that I wanted, I just feel like it's feeling like there's a lot of product on my face. I will say the bronzer is blending in really nicely to it though, but like literally every hair is getting stuck to my face and it's creeping me out so bad. I'm just gonna use the clean side and kind of like, see if I can soak up a little of the extra. I'm just gonna go ahead and set the areas that like normally would collect anyway. So I think if you're looking for like more of a hydrating formula, this would probably be the one for you because it feels very hydrating. Like it feels really creamy, really hydrating. I think I'll probably end up just using it for the cream blush to be honest. Like I don't know if I'm loving the way it feels but you never know, you know what I mean? Like sometimes things surprise you and you're like, I hate it. And then it actually like turns out to be great. I just need a little bit to just kind of help brighten. Let's just use the cream highlight and see. Okay, for me, that's very subtle. It's looking more kind of just like wet and dewy on the skin versus like an actual highlight. Can you guys see what I mean? Like it just kind of, I mean, there's a glow, but it's a pretty subtle glow. I do like the blush, I think they're gorge. And I think those will actually like be something that I would use. Cause I don't mind a cream blush, but I'm not getting a whole lot of color payoff. And I am like really getting in there. And I don't, there we go. See, you have to use, it's like you have to use a lot of product, but then it kind of just disappears. Where's it going? I need more. And because they're so creamy, they just kind of like melt into the skin. The blush is pretty. I think if I did the blush with my typical routine, I think it wouldn't be melting into the skin as much and just kind of disappearing because everything kind of just melts into each other. Like it's very well blended, like they blend amazingly, but they all just kind of melt into one and then you can't really see like what you're, you know what I mean? Like everything just kind of disappears because it just kind of, it just melts. Everything just melts into each other. And I've got major creasing under here. We're gonna stay strong. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Laura Mercier Celestial Light over the top of that highlighter because for me, I just need a little bit more of a glow in my life. See, look at that. Already I'm like, yeah, I feel good. -da 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 -da. See, that's what I want from a highlighter. I wanna look like a goddess, goddess. I wanna beam, I wanna illuminate. I wanna look fabulous. That for me is what a highlighter should do. That one is just a little bit too subtle for me. I think this palette might be good for someone who's a little bit more natural than I am because let's face it, I'm not a natural person as much as I would love to be. I just was not meant to be one. You know what I mean? I have to do all of these steps because I don't have eyebrows. My skin is blotchy. Like I just need a little bit of extra help in my life. So I feel like this might be good for someone who just wears really minimal makeup just like, oh, a little concealer and a little foundation because I'm so delicious. But I think if you're like me and you like like a full on glam and glow and blush and all the things, I think this is probably just not gonna be the one for you. Oh, this is really pretty. 
We're gonna go in with this. It's the Heart of Gold Press Powder Highlighter. It says it's a highlighter, but I'm gonna use it as a little blush. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna use it as a little blush, just over that cream blush, and then I'll, I'll go on top with something darker once I powder and everything, but this, yes. Technically this would like be for me a blush topper, but I never use blush toppers on the top. I use them on the bottom that way. My pores look smooth and I don't look textured. If something is working for me, I'll tell you. But when, I, when I'm when i not feeling something, I'll also tell you. Has anything collected? No, I sat down there, didn't I? So I'm just gonna pop my little fingers, just making sure all of that cream is, see how creased it is already? It's just a very oily, formula, but I just have a feeling I'm not gonna love it. For me, if I don't like it when I'm doing it right away and I don't like the way it feels right away, I'm probably not gonna like the way it feels later, you know what I mean? Because it just feels very, very creamy on the skin. And like, just wet. I'm just, I don't know. We'll find out, I might eat my words. I might be like, ooh, it's actually gorgeous. I look great, I look young, I look fabulous. So I'm just using my Givenchy powder and pressing that in to all of my pores, my scars, anything that is a divot. I will say I like the way the forehead looks. I think that's looking really nice. Okay, we're just gonna set that whole thing. I'm also gonna take it on my brows because I feel like this is so creamy that I don't think my eyebrows are gonna stick. Today I'm gonna take the Natasha Denona I Need a Rose Lip Crayon in Cala. Okay, that's so brown. Ugh, I'm not liking anything today. I'm just gonna go over that with my pillow talk. Okay, I'm gonna take Flower Beauty 010 Bare Pout, and I'm like really gonna blend that into the liner because I feel like the liner's so brown. It's funny because it looks like it's gonna be such a like nude pink, and then it like goes so brown on me. And then I'm gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario Pink Glow over the top to just give me a really pretty pink shine. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Awake. This is the watermelon one. I just needed a little more color. Okay, we're gonna do eyebrows. My favorite part of my life. Not. Remember when you guys when we were kids, and you'd like say something and you'd be like, not, ha, ha, <laughs> like think you were so funny. Oh God, kids are so funny. I've lost my tweezers and I have this crazy eyebrow that's like been sticking out like a wild one for days. Also guys, I do actually think that this brow gel from Grande Brow, cause it's actually like a brow enhancing serum I do actually think that I am getting like some new growth. So, um, yeah, I do think it works. Red Aspen Fulfilled, I'm gonna go in with this color right here, which is my absolute fave. Woke up with a pounding headache this morning. I just took that color, that color, that color. And we're just going to, I don't feel like doing anything wild today. That pink shadow was a lot. I felt so out of my comfort zone doing that. And do you know what's funny is I used to wear like bright colors all the time. Do you guys remember that when I was younger? I always had some kind of crazy color on my eyes. I'll use you guys it's just when I'm doing my base that I'm like oh that feels weird well my hair is gonna get all over me I don't like that I'm gonna take this slightly less like bigger fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pop that right onto my base sometimes when I want to do like a really lazy smoky eye that just looks a little bit darker I'll do this and it just like really 
It just looks so nice, I love it. It's like the lazy girl version of a smoky eye. You don't have to be talented. You don't have to take your time. You literally just plop it on there. And see how it's like already smoky? Like that was so easy. My head is pounding so bad, you guys. Oh my God, this headache. It's too much. Maybe I'm dehydrated. I'm gonna go ahead and take this color and this color under here. We're just gonna smoke that out and then ring it up. Okay, how good does this lip color look? I love it. My high knees jump free and I love it. Then I'm gonna take the dark color home. I'm telling you guys, this palette is everything you need and more in your life. It's, it is expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Like it's, I wish that they would drop the price a little bit. I just feel like it's a little bit like much. $89, like come on man. Like, I don't know. However, saying that, it's my absolute favorite palette. It's pretty much the only one I ever use unless I'm using something new to try out for you guys. It lasted me forever. I had that last one for like two years, maybe even longer, and I use it daily. While I do think it is very expensive, I do think it's worth it. You know, it is really big and it is so good. And if you have a watery eye like me, I don't mind paying the money because everything else just makes my eyes water and it makes them feel uncomfortable and it sucks, you know? I just wanna be able to like wear eyeshadow like the rest of people and not have my eye watering or get raw and crusty. Like that's just not cute. So for me, I'll pay the price. And I just love the way that the colors blend. I love how neutral they are. Um, my head feels like it's gonna explode. Oh, like what is happening here? It's just so painful. I'm just really struggling today, guys. The headaches. I don't know if I just need to like give myself a little massage. Like, is my neck tweaked? It's not my neck to me. Ugh. I just hate this. So I think it's down in here in my neck. Um, I'm gonna take this color right here, which looks amazing. It's Smile. And we're just gonna pop that on. Whoa! Why do I never use this? This is insane. It's so sparkly, you guys. Oh. Do you guys see that? It is so sparkly and beautiful. So it's like shimmery, but then it's also like actually sparkly. I just need to go get a drink of water. I'm actually so miserable right now. Like my head is pounding so bad. Let me just go and grab like some water or something because I feel a bit sweaty and I'm not feeling great. <laughs> this one literally stays on all day. Man, I had so many things that I wanted to do today and I honestly feel like crawling into bed. My head hurts so bad. Like this light right now is like killing my brain. Headaches are stupid. Oh, that shadow gave me a ton of fallout. It's a good thing I powdered. That sparkly one. So make sure you guys powder. It feels like even my eyelashes are sore. <laughs> and I just got one in my eye. Man, I'm struggling today, guys. Sorry, I'm not feeling my I'm not feeling a hundred percent today. I knew it, as soon as I woke up, my head was just like pounding and I was like, I'm just gonna get through the day. It's gonna be fine. I probably just slept funny. And like, honestly, it's just getting worse and worse. And I have so much to do today. For some reason, I've been having so many issues with my Target pickup lately, I've stopped doing it. They make me so mad. Every single time we've done Target pickup, they forget like 12, like eight to 12 items, like straight up two bags of things. And then I have to drive back to the store and then they say, oh, just come in and get it. The whole reason I do pickup is because I'm lazy. Hello, I don't wanna go in the store. So then I call them when I get there and I say, hey, 
just wanted to let you know you guys forgot my stuff and I'm, I'm out in spot number four. So then I just started getting so annoyed because I'm like, you're actually wasting my time at this point because I have to drive back down and get my order that I've paid for. So I just decided I'm just gonna like go into the store and get it. But it's like, cause I do my grocery shopping for like fresh foods at Trader Joe's. And then I do my grocery shopping for like cleaners and um, dry goods and stuff at Target. Cause you know, Trader Joe's doesn't have everything that like the kids like, but they have amazing like meats and produce and they're really affordable and they're so fresh. So yesterday I did my Target shop for like snacks and like, you know, that kind of stuff. And then today I have to go to Trader Joe's and get like my coconut yogurt for my Schneikers, for my smoothies and all of my veggies and all of the salad stuff and like, you know, all the good healthy stuff. This shadow is so unbelievably beautiful, guys. Wow. I am impressed. I gotta do that today. I gotta pick up my kids. I gotta film TikTok. I gotta get my video uploaded so that I um, can do all of the links, which takes forever. I have some laundry to do because Jay is running out of clothes for work. Phoenix has his little workout class that he does after school. So I gotta take him to that and then come home, do a little bit of work, go back, pick him up, go to the grocery store, come home, make dinner. Um, what am I doing? This, I'm sorry, this headache is, I'm struggling so bad. I can't even think straight. My head hurts so bad. I don't know what my next step is. I just wanna close my eyes for one moment. <laughs> Why me? I just wanna sit in a dark room and go to sleep but I can't because I have so much to do. My sister sent me this thing yesterday and it said something like, I'll read it to you guys. It like hit me so hard. I was like, dang, that's deep. And it's literally so true. Let me read it to you guys. Cause I know you guys will get me. It says being a mom is hard. It's not just about staying home all day. It's not just about preparing meals for everyone. It's not just about being pregnant for nine months. It's a putting yourself last lifelong commitment. Oh. When I read that last line, it's a putting yourself last lifelong commitment. It almost makes me teary eyed. That is literally the hardest part about being a mom. It is knowing that for the rest of your life, you are never going to be first. You are always going to be thinking about other people before yourself. I'm going to see if this one will show up on me. I don't think it will, but we'll see. This is sweetheart from the color. <gasps> well, that's really powdery. Um, I got maybe a bit too much. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that's too light. I think that's better for someone who's a little bit more fair than I am. Not showing up. So cute, though. If you're really fair, that would be a really beautiful color. It's so pretty. I just need a little bit more. We're going to go in with Sephora Peach Blossom. And I'm just going to basically go right on in there. <gasps> Woo, that's nice. I like it. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I never used this one. I just like recently got it and I've only used it a couple times, but that is super pretty. It's very matte. We're going to do our little inner corner highlight because you can't go on with life without an inner corner highlight. We're going to go back in with that brow one. I literally go through this eyeshadow so fast. So I always dip into the same dip and then it just gets a huge dip. Delicious. Fergalicious definition. Make them boys go loco. Okay, we're doing some Joa. I just love this stuff so much. It just makes you so sparkly. I love it when you get a little sparkle on the forehead. Okay, I have to say, I'm loving the way this foundation is looking. Like, my skin does look flawless. It's a little bit lighter than my body, just a squidge but I think it's fine. We're gonna take these little babies down. Look, my light lasted. I'm gonna pull that out of hair. Um, my light lasted so well today. Oh my God, so good. I was just like trying to like wear the battery out, but you know, cause you know how they say like, oh, don't charge it until it's fully dead. Well, I don't have time for that. Okay. By the way, I've been sleeping in little satin scrunchies with a, with a loose ponytail. And honestly, your hair will wake up perfect the next morning. Like. I have not done anything to it today. I just woke up. 
and that's what my hair looks like isn't that crazy like amazing it just works so well I don't know how it does it you'd think it would be worse but it's better it's not so beautiful guys I am just so happy with how my makeup turned out even though I was complaining and said I hated the foundation I do think it looks super beautiful we will do a wear test and we're gonna see on TikTok how this foundation holds up is it gonna be delish or am I gonna hate it as of right now it doesn't feel slimy anymore it doesn't feel wet it doesn't feel creepy it feels great my skin looks beautiful I have a glow but I don't look like too glowy um, everything is covered the color I think it's fine <gasps> I didn't do glow for delicious. I don't know why that's stuck in my head. I was singing that yesterday too. Isn't it weird how sometimes, like, some days you just like have random songs stuck in your head? Like, for me, it's for delicious today. Okay, so we got the first bit of the glow that's the gold, and then we add the pink. And this is just a makeup by Mario, it's like their big fluffy powder brush. But I never use it for powder, I just use it for sparkles. Okie doke, I am sparkly, look at that. And then to top that off and just make it look extra sheeny, I got this, it's actually a shine spray, but you can use it on your body. And it gives you like a really pretty sheen. Um, not that my shoulders are gonna show, but whatever. We'll just do it, cause I'm just gonna do it. But this is the Eva NYC ads, or I'm sorry, Just Glisten Hair and Body Shine Mist. So it's just a shine mist. And it just adds just a squidge of a glisten. Do you guys see how it just kind of gives you a little bit of shine? Kind of like a sheen to the skin. And then, like it would be so great for like shins in the summer. And then you just kind of like give it a waft. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm not wearing my platform sneaker or slippers and this is what I, I have it set for my platform slippers. It just kind of makes your glare pop and it gives you like a really pretty sheen like you're glistening. So that's really pretty. And it smells pretty decent. It's not my favorite smell but it, it, does, it smells good. I'm gonna put my little necklace on. This is from Amazon. It comes in a set but I just love this specific little one because it's so cute and so dainty. I kind of want to get that little key one I showed on my Instagram that Lily got on her Girl Scouts thing. Um, because it's so pretty and then me and her can be twins but I want it in gold. Look how cute that is. Isn't it so dainty and lovely? Amazon. It's linked to my Amazon storefront but I'll link it down below. I'll link everything down below. I got this robe, dressing gown, whatever you want to call it. I call them dressing gowns. From World Market. Um, I showed you how I styled my hair in my video yesterday and then I literally put it in a ponytail, like a loose ponytail with a satin scrunchie, slept in it, and this is what it looks like the second day. So this is second day hair. Still shiny. I don't need any dry shampoo. It is looking great and I am good to go. So there you guys go. My battery's flashing. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Again, everything will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in my next one.